Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to show you what advanced lookups are in Dynamics 365. Now, there's not really any configuration you have to do for this. You just need to enable this feature. And once you enable the feature, you'll see an updated way to view values in a lookup field in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first I want to show you again what that lookup, how it behaves and what it looks like prior to turning on advanced lookups in Dynamics 365. So you see I have a lookup field here. I actually renamed it to account, but this lookup field uh, allows me to either ent enter a contact record or an account record. So if I click on this, you can see here there is a change view button that I can click that allows me to pick a different view. You also see up top that I can either look for results related to accounts or from contacts, right? That's what I said earlier. I can put either an account record in this lookup or a contact, right? And then you can just go ahead and select one and that's it. So, now let's go ahead and I will show you how you can turn the advanced lookup functionality on first. So you're going to go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and then you're going to select the environment you want to turn this on for. You're going to click here on settings and then you're going to click here on product and then you're going to click on behavior. So if you scroll down here, you can see here, there is a section that shows lookup behavior and you can see it right here, enable advanced lookup in model driven apps. So you can just go ahead and turn that on over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now you also see that there are two additional options here. We can set the minimum number of characters to trigger type ahead search. So what that is, uh, when a user starts to type characters in a search field, the underlying records will automatically be filtered out even before a user clicks on the search button. So as they type, right, those records are going to be uh, filtered out already. You're still going to need to use that asterisk, right, if you want to use wildcards. Uh, but that's kind of how that works. And then obviously the one below, delay between character inputs that will trigger a search, this is where you can put in what that delay needs to be in millis milliseconds. So I'm not going to put anything there. So we have enabled this, we saved it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh my screen. I'm actually going to do a hard reload here. And then I'm going to show you what that look up how that behaves right after we just turn on the advanced lookups. Okay, so let's again go to the same lookup over here. And if I click on this, you can now see that I have a different option here that says advanced lookup. So I can just go ahead and click on that. And now I get another window that sits on top of the window that I was in previously, but it's giving me a lot more columns, right? You can see here that uh, it actually loads the lookup view, the default view, but if you need to change that to a different view, you can do that obviously as well. And then you can see there's a search bar over here. So let me show you how that type ahead works. So let's say I'm gonna put, I'm gonna type in uh, fa. you see that I start typing and immediately it filters out my account records based on what I'm typing in. Now, if I'm going to do a datum, so let's say I'm going to just type in datum, I don't really get anything, right? But if I do this asterisk and then datum, right, you get, again, that same behavior that we're used to throughout the application, that wildcard uh, search, right? Then 
the other thing that you can do here is you can just check this box and that's going to just show only accounts in this particular case that I own, right? That are assigned to me as a user. And if the account is not here and I need to create a new record, I can do that from here as well. I can pick account or contact. And as you can see, that will create, that will load that quick create form directly on top of this view. <clears throat> now, like I said earlier, I could either put an account record in this lookup or a contact record. So you'll always see the different tables here on the left hand side. So if I need to switch and if I want to see contact records versus account records, I can just click on that and you can see now it will actually uh, load right my lookup view, my default view for contacts. Now another thing that you can do here with these columns is you can sort right to say, hey, sort this A to Z or right whatever column you want to do. Now you cannot filter these yet, right? I don't think you really need to because you can just do a search, but that might be something hopefully that's coming later, but you cannot do that uh, right now. I just want to show you one more thing. Let's just go ahead and create an appointment here and take a look at that regarding field. Again, click here on advanced lookup. And I wanted to show you this because an appoint appointment can be regarding a lot of different tables, right? So now you can see all of the tables here on the side, which makes it a lot easier for us to choose the correct record because we have a lot more columns that we can now view here on this little pop-up window. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Take care, everybody.